Hey guys, Pavels here from Onion and today we're gonna learn how to host a captive portal on your Omega. Check this out. First of all, what is a captive portal? A captive portal is a smart way to authenticate users on your network. Think of a free Wi-Fi hotspot that you connect to every time you go to the shopping mall, coffee shop, cinema, and etc. You connect to the hotspot, agree to their terms and conditions, and only then can you access the internet. Same thing can be done using your Omega. So let's get started. On your Omega, update the list of available packages and let's install the necessary software which is called Nodoc Splash. Now, let's open up a configuration file for the Nodoc Splash and make some changes. Let's enable the Nodoc Splash by changing the option enabled from 0 to 1. Change the option network from LAN to WLAN. Since the configuration file is configured to be connected to LAN interface, which in case with the Omega is WLAN. The next step is optional. Open your wireless configuration file on your Omega and let's change the encryption type and the SSID of the Omega. It just makes sense to change the encryption and the name so that it's clear what this network is. Change the encryption type PSK2 to none, comment out the password and let's change the access point SSID to something like Omega Public Hotspot. For the changes to take effect, Issue Wi-Fi command. It will take approximately 5 to 10 seconds. And let's start the captive portal right after. Using NDS CTL utility, let's do a quick check if the captive portal is actually up and running. Now, let's customize our welcome page. Again, open the Nodoc Splash configuration file and change the gateway name to something meaningful like Omega 2 Capture Portal and save it. The next thing is to change the enter button to look like an onion badge and add additional text to the welcome page. The onion badge could be found on our GitHub repo or you can use any other picture as well. Now you have a capture portal where users have to actively agree to use your internet connection. While the capture portal up and running, you can customize the web page to display whatever messages, advertisements, and or terms of service you would like, or even implement additional authentication like requiring users to log in or provide a password of some sort.